This is topic 3.1, identifying the solution of systems of linear equations from graphs. Three systems of linear equations are shown. For each system, choose the best description of its solutions. If the system has exactly one solution, give its solution, okay? So what does that mean? When we're doing a system of equations, essentially the solution is where the two graphs touch or intersect is another word. Not intercept, like the y-intercept and the x-intercept, but intersect, okay? They cross or touch. Now, if you look at system B, these guys are parallel. That's what it's called when they run alongside each other like this. It's like a train track. These guys are never going to just like cross, right? The wheels on the train don't, they can't move in that manner or on your vehicle, right? So car wash, you're stuck with your wheels like this, okay? They will never, ever, ever, ever intersect. And because of that, the answer to this problem would be the system has no solution, okay? Now, over here, these guys do intersect, but they intersect only at one spot, okay? So here you would say the system has exactly one solution, and the solution is, and then what are the coordinates of that one spot? So we've got one, two, three, four for the x coordinate, and one, two, negative two for the y coordinate. Okay. But then you've got this other graph over here where L1 is on top of L2. Okay. And so that means that these guys touch everywhere. And I think I've mentioned it in a previous video, if you watched it, is that just between here and here is an infinite number of points. So you can imagine that between here and here is an infinite number of points. And then the fact that there are arrows going that direction and this direction means there's even more points. The point, the, the point of this is, is that there is an infinitely many number of solutions. So in this one you say the system has infinitely many solutions. Now be careful with that idea. That does not mean that everything is a solution. Because if you notice, this point over here is not part of the solutions at all, okay? So even though there are an infinite number of solutions, that doesn't necessarily mean that, and it doesn't mean that everything is a solution, okay? Only the points along those two overlapping lines are the infinite solutions.